Hey, this is Chad with homeschoolwebmaster.com, and we're going to talk about taxonomy. Taxonomy is a crazy name, kind of like views. This is a Drupal thing. Um, well, it's not exclusively Drupal, but Drupal uses it probably the most. But another word for taxonomy is categories. What if you have different content types, but you wanted some, uh, let's say you had a clothing store. And you wanted to organize some of your content under, you know, pants or and another bit of your content under shirts. But you didn't want to do two different content types. What could you do? Well, you would use categories or in Drupal terms, you would use taxonomy. So let's go into taxonomy here. You have two different tax, you know, taxonomy set up by default. You've got your forum and you've got your tags. Uh, so the forums, let's take a look at right here we're going to list the terms under forms they've got chats creation chats first forum that's my stuff by the way default drupal gardens forums you've got general discussions and you've got suggestions so they've organized your your forms into these three different things okay general discussions and suggestions and so all right so in these uh vocabulary let's set up just a little bit in the tags area there is nothing in list terms there's forms and tags we're just going to take the tags and we're gonna make it our own so uh, list terms there's no terms available we're going to name it pants and the description is all pants are organized under Pants category and we probably want to just put the quotes around pants all right so we've described it and we'll push save and let's go back to structure let's go back to our taxonomy now let's list our terms Notice we've got pants, all right? We're going to add one more term. I just want to show you it was showing up. And we're going to be shirts. And all shirts listed here. A little different description. We'll push save. And let's go back to taxonomy. We've got this little list, so it makes it quicker for us. And now we can see under tags if we list terms we've got pants and shirts now so if we create a form topic and we add content right there and we go to forums right here under tags you could put the word P and it pops up with pants Okay, so now this is going to be a pants topic, and this is a test forum for pants. All right, and test for pants forum, typing off the page, and we're going to push save. So we've just created a new form. It's saying, oops, I didn't put it in a particular form. Let's just say it's a uh, Chad's first form. That's the form we want it on. It's organized according to all the pants, I guess, that Chad wears. Maybe. We'll see. And then we push save. And then it goes in and it creates it. So it's got this form here. But if I go back to views, now uh, notice it's got the tags right there. And we could add new comments under that. But uh, I could go into our structure our simple views and I could add a new view and all of Chad's pants and the path would be Chad's pants and we're gonna display only forum topics on this and we're gonna sort towards newest is fine and we're going to do a list of just titles and we're gonna limit the tags to and you can push s and the shirt will pop up and notice there isn't also an s in the word pants so it's kind of using anything with the word uh, the letter s is in it but if we start typing one more letter it's only going to type up with shirts so let's do back to our pants and we click on that 
and we want to show um, 10 items per page. Um, we Do we want to expose the block? And I'm going to leave all this default. Uh, how many items in the block and as a list of titles. Just leave all that default. We'll go over that later. Um, we'll push save. And now I have a brand new all of Chad's pants. Now it's listed under this URL. Notice when we click it, it takes us to Chad's pants and this is the title all of Chad's pants a test for form of test form for pants. Now you can make a list of all the uh, content that has the um, tag of pants. Okay. And so now you just organized your site and you can start sending content all over the place. Let's say you're a church and uh, you want to do Sunday night videos. So you can make a, a category of Sunday night and all your videos on Sunday night will show up in one list. Or you can do Sunday morning videos or Sunday morning audio. Or let's say you work for a, a volunteer organization. Suddenly you can make a list of all doctor's appointments or however you want to organize your site. You can do it. So this is very, very powerful, and the way you categorize stuff uh, is taxonomy. So this is an overview of taxonomy. We'll get into it more. Uh, again, just like views, if you don't understand it, don't freak out. We're going to go back into it when we start adding content. I'll be showing you real-world application uh, to taxonomy. This is all kind of like school right now, and then we'll get into the real-world business a little bit later. All right, that's it for taxonomy. Talk to you soon.